Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we'll talk about metabolism in the well-fed state. So, well-fed state is the time when you've just had your food and that food has just gotten absorbed from the intestines. So, what do we have in our food? We have carbohydrates, we have proteins and we have fat. Carbohydrates get absorbed as glucose Proteins are absorbed as amino acids and the fat is absorbed as chylomicrons. So, during the well-fed state, there is increased glucose in the blood which activates the pancreatic beta cells to release insulin and reduced amount of glucagon. So, what will this insulin do? In the liver, it causes fatty acid synthesis, glycogen synthesis and protein synthesis and it also increases glucose uptake in the adipose tissue and the muscle. In the adipose tissue, it is used for fatty acid synthesis and in the muscle, glycogen synthesis occurs and the amino acids are used for protein synthesis. Okay, so let's look at the well-fed state. First, coming on to glucose. Glucose is taken up by the liver and it forms pyruvate via glycolysis and this pyruvate forms acetyl-CoA which is used for the TCA cycle to produce ATP. Glucose also forms glycogen and this acetyl-CoA that is formed takes part in fatty acid synthesis and also in cholesterol synthesis which is important for the synthesis of bile salts. In the muscle, the glucose is used to provide energy via glycolysis and then pyruvate forming acetyl-CoA to enter the TCA cycle and the extra glucose takes part in glycogen synthesis. In the adipose tissue, glucose helps in synthesis of ATP via the similar pathway and it also helps in formation of glycerol phosphate. This takes part in synthesis of fat. That is why when we say that if we eat foods like rice which contain high amount of starch, so that leads to synthesis of fat via this path where glucose enters adipose tissue to form glycerol phosphate and glycerol phosphate and fatty acids together form Now, brain and RBC are dependent on glucose for their energy. In the brain, the glucose enters, glycolysis occurs. This pyruvate forms acetyl-CoA, which takes part in the TCA cycle. In the RBC, glycolysis occurs to form pyruvate. And because RBC does not have any mitochondria, so anaerobic glycolysis occurs here. As a result, pyruvate forms lactate with the help of lactate dehydrogenase which enters the liver to be again converted back to pyruvate. This is called as the Cori cycle and is important for anaerobic metabolism in skeletal muscle. Now, If we look at the fat, so chylomicrons which are absorbed are acted upon by an enzyme called as LPL or lipoprotein lipase and they release fatty acids and glycerol. The glycerol enters the liver whereas fatty acids enter the adipose tissue and help in fat synthesis. The glycerol which has entered the liver also takes part in synthesis of fat. Now endogenous cholesterol that is formed, the endogenous fat is transported to the peripheral tissues in the form of lipoprotein 
called as VLDL. Okay, and this VLDL is also acted upon in the periphery by lipoprotein lipase to form fatty acids and glycerol. Now, amino acids. The amino acids formed enter the muscle to form protein. And the amino acids which enter the liver take part in the urea cycle to form urea which is excreted in the urine. So this finishes metabolism in well-fed state. Now quick recap. Is there any gluconeogenesis in well-fed state? No. Is there synthesis of fat? Yes. No lipolysis occurs. Glycerol is used for triglyceride synthesis. Muscle catabolism, does it occur? No. In fact, there is anabolism, that is increased protein synthesis. Urea synthesis will remain constant. Okay. The liver will handle ammonia load from the protein degradation in the gut by bacteria. There is no ketone body synthesis. The primary fuel by, used for, for the organs is glucose. Okay. The muscle uses glucose as primary fuel. The brain use of glucose remains constant and RBC uses glucose only irrespective of whether it is well-fed state, fasting state or starvation. The RBC will always use constant amount of glucose. Okay. So that finishes metabolism in welfare state. Thanks for watching and if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe.